You might be wondering what this oddly looking stealth ship is doing in the middle of the ocean. Well, this is the USS Zumwalt, the largest destroyer in the world. Designed to combat the threats of today as well as those of coming decades, USS Zumwalt class ships are equipped with numerous advanced technology and survivability systems and costs about $22.4 billion in research and development. The USS Zumwalt is the lead ship among the three Zumwalt class destroyers and is touted as one of the most advanced ships in the world. It is also one of the largest surface combatants in the world. The ship's knife-like bow is said to make it more stable in heavy seas compared with other surface combatants like destroyers and cruisers according to Defense News. This 600-foot ship can accommodate 158 crew members according to naval technology. It has a sustained speed of 30 knots and a displacement of 14,564 long tons or around 16,000 tons. It was named after Admiral Elmo Zumwalt, the youngest chief of naval operations in US history. Being a guided missile destroyer, its main purpose is to provide anti-aircraft support to the US Navy's fleet. The ship's construction began in October 2008 and was launched in October 2013 and was put into commission by the US Navy in October 2016. The overall cost for this lead ship is amounted to an astounding 4.4 billion dollars, making it the costliest destroyer at the time. The Navy has two Zomot class destroyers, the USS Michael Monsoor and the USS Lyndon B. Johnson. These Zomot class destroyers have been so controversial that despite their cost, they failed to meet the Navy's expectations. Join us in this video as we unveil the design features of the USS Zomot and its controversy in the Navy and in the world. While we talk about the massive funding for the three Zomot class destroyers, it is even surprising to note that General Dynamics, the owner of the shipyard Bat Ironworks, which built the USS Zomot, constructed a $40 million facility just to accommodate the building of these massive ships. Just this fact makes us wonder whether the budget can stand the expectations of the many. But before we dig into the funding, let us first take a closer look at its features. According to AeroWeb, the ship is said to be powered by Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines and Rolls-Royce RR4500 turbine generators which allow the Zomol to produce about 78 megawatts of power, similar to the energy generated by a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. The ship's sensors include multifunction radar and it has 80 advanced vertical launch cells for specific types of missiles. These ships are designed to feature a state-of-the-art electric propulsion system, wave-piercing tumble home hull, stealth design, and the latest warfighting technology and weaponry available. According to the magazine of the US Navy, Zumwalt-class destroyer will be capable of performing a range of deterrents, power projection, sea control, and command and control missions while allowing the Navy to evolve with new systems and missions. It will be capable of doing all these performances while maintaining its stealth. These warships possess stealth, size, power, survivability systems, and computing capacity that provide the Navy with the ability to meet maritime missions at sea as well as incorporate new technologies to meet emerging security environments. The US Navy magazine summarized the specific technological features of Zomwalt, first of which is the DDG-1000 which employs an innovative and highly survivable integrated power system. This provides the Zomwalt the ability to provide power to propulsion, ship service, and combat system loads from the same gas turbine prime movers. The wave-piercing tumble home ship design has provided a wide array of advancements, such as significantly reducing cross-section and acoustic output, making the ship harder to detect by enemies at sea. The design also allows for optimal manning with a standard crew size of 175 sailors, with an air detachment of 28, thereby decreasing life cycle operations and support costs. The multifunction radar or MFR allows the capability of conducting area air surveillance including overland throughout the extremely difficult and cluttered sea land interface. Advanced Gun Systems or AGS offers long-range land attack projectiles that reach up to 63 nautical miles, providing a threefold range improvement in naval surface fire coverage. General Dynamics Bath Ironworks or BIW on one hand is responsible for the design, construction, integration, 
testing and delivery of the DDG-1000 class and DDG-1000 to steel deck house, hangar, and peripheral vertical launch system or PVLS. Looking at the design provisions, this Zomwalt promises a state-of-the-art naval asset. Yet, this asset has been plagued by problems and has been considered the failed ship concept. Why? After its commissioning in 2016, the USS Zumwalt broke down in the Panama Canal. The second ship in its class, the USS Michael Monster, failed during sea trials the following year. Of course, just these two instances have created commotion in the Navy since these class destroyers have been funded for a soaring amount of billion dollars. To make things worse, a 2018 report from Military Watch magazine noted that the Zumwalt suffered from poorly functioning weapons, stalling engines, and an underperformance in their stealth capabilities among other shortcomings. The Zumwalts were reported to lack several vital features, including anti-ship missiles, anti-submarine torpedoes, and long-range area air defense missiles. Hence, given its reputation of a project being an ambitious but failed ship concept, this is also wise to note that Zumwalt's advanced gun system did not work that well, with two-thirds of the forecast range around 70 miles. Furthermore, its rocket-boosted LRLAP GPS-guided shells cost $800,000 each, nearly as expensive as more precise, longer range, and harder-hitting cruise missiles, definitely too ambitious of a project, but too pricey for the Navy. This made the Navy finally cancel the insanely expensive munitions, leaving the Zumwalt with two huge guns it can't fire. Because of the downsizing and downgrades, the advanced destroyers lacked ammunition for their guns, anti-ship missiles, anti-submarine torpedoes, and long-range area air defense missiles. Moreover, the Zumwalt had fewer cells to pack land missiles than RLA Burke destroyers 96, Ticonderoga class cruisers 122, or Ohio class cruise missile submarines 144, all of which were cheaper and the last of which is stealthier. Given all the failures in the overrated destroyer, the Navy was forced to give the Zumwalt another purpose, a new mission despite the additional cost of tweaking its capabilities. In 2017, the Navy announced that their class destroyer would instead specialize in surface strike, which means hunting down other ships. Sebastian Roblin wrote that the destroyers will be modified to fire new maritime Tomahawk Block 4 subsonic anti-ship missile and SM-6 active radar homing missiles. The latter, he added, can provide longer-range air defense missiles that can go up to 150 miles and has a secondary ground attack or naval attack capability. This surface warfare role may best leverage the Zomwalt stealth capabilities, allowing it to range ahead of the fleet and penetrate anti-axis zones threatened by long-range anti-ship missiles. It could creep closer to enemy warships before launching its own missiles, giving as adversaries little time to react. Another US Navy plan for Zumwalt is to use the hulls to build a formidable conventional deterrent that is always on patrol in the South China Sea. With three ships, the Navy could conceivably keep one on patrol one working up for patrol, and one in maintenance at all times. That means the Navy could maintain a semi-permanent Zumwalt presence in the region. In this concept, Zumwalts would be used not only to threaten targets deep inside Chinese territory, but would also function as a command and control hub for unmanned system. This means that the three ships would be deployed in the Western Pacific, relieving each other on the station, organic medium altitude, long endurance UAVs, conventional prompt strike, and the Aegis weapons system. This projects the future of this failed ship concept, a serious statement of intent that the US Navy is in the Western Pacific to stay and deter. With this plan and the conventional prompt strike missiles, the Navy may have found the solution of finding another purpose for the misfortune world's largest destroyer. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to High Technology Channel.